Behind the Development of Nick Bruce Adventures, Season 1. Oh, hello, guys. And yes. So, I gotta put my, you know, I gotta go like this. I gotta go like this, like a stretch out, because I had a long day. I'm trying to fix my pants so I can feel right. But yeah. So. I was just thinking about doing, you know, the development behind Nick Bruce Adventures. So, apparently, um, yeah, let's talk about this. So, um, what went into the development of Nick Bruce Adventures? Well, if you look at it this way, guys, I mean, the first time I figured, you know, because 2021, I was, you know, you know, going for a lot. You know, I was going for a lot of crap, like emotional, but also good stuff. Now, one thing I need to know about today, guys, is that make sure you hit the like button, comment down below, and give me a thumbs up what you think. So, yes. So, honestly, here's my honest opinion. When I first, you know, worked on this, you know, seasons or whatever for the Nick Bruce Adventure series, at first, I was going to be making the Nick Bruce movie. And the development went quite well for the very first time. But then some bad things happened. You know, my friend, I thought, who was my friend? His name was Isaiah Caldwell. And unfortunately for me, it, my GoPro got gone, my SD card was gone, so... Well, I took the SD card, but he took the camera, and it, things just went bad from there. So, I mean, there was not a lot to say about this, since Isaiah kind of, you know, ruined it, and I didn't have another camera to use to upload the Nick Bruce movie. So, even though I released the trailer on July 13th, and the movie was going to be released November, you know, November, uh, you know, November 31st, 2022, it kind of made me feel like, man, where did all these years go? Because then, all of a sudden, when that failed, and I couldn't upload the Nick Bruce movie, and yes, I will confirm this, Ryder, also known as Dr. Slayer, was going to use the Infinity Goblet, You've probably seen that in the trailer where I homemade it for the Nick Bruce movie, but he was originally going to be in the movie to be the main villain. But now things went kind of down from there. So then what happened after that? Well, crazy things happened that I can't discuss. But then all of a sudden, a year later goes by, and I was in a group home now. But for some reason, I was always the type of kid who wanted my own show. And I started out with, you know, trying to figure out all the details, trying to figure out Nick's characteristics. And I was going to tell you the truth, guys, like back in like, you know, how my development process was going after the season was released. But I didn't want to do that right away because I was so busy, wrapped up in things. So I'm going to basically confirm this right now. There's no script. There's no script for Nick Bruce Ventures. Why do I say that? Because I don't like doing scripts. I mean, that's the honest truth. If I like doing scripts, then why would I keep on, you know, like, agging on? It would still take forever. So that's how Nick Bird's Adventures started brainstorming. I want Nick to be more the hero, the main hero. I want him to be, uh, wear the blue and black coat. But then out of nowhere, as I was filming the season, I wanted something more. So I wanted the season to be original. So I, you know, one day I was just, you know, sitting around and, you know, Nick Bruce Adventures, you know, was having some problems because apparently I couldn't go past 15 minutes and I had to sign in to, you know, get more time. So it kind of sucks, but when I finally got to upload what I wanted to and GG helped me with that, which is, you know, GG's, you know, the man, the manager or something or you know, this is, I don't know, I, I don't know, guys, I, I don't really know, I'm not going to talk about that in today's video, because, like, you know, I was just, you know, figuring things out, she helped me out, I started playing thumbnails, got more videos uploaded, like, and then when Nick Bruce Ventures got uploaded to YouTube, it did an alright job, it was supposed to go past 70 views, which is what I like, when movies or TV shows go past 70 views, guys, it is a swell job. But for TV shows, that's a different story. For stars, I want it to go past 80 views. But the problem is, is that sometimes I think, hmm, if it goes past 70 views, it won't be that bad. I mean, it's a good thing. So, honestly, guys, I mean, Nick Bruce Avengers was an okay show. I mean, I did an okay job. 
I love doing it. I had fun making it. And then all of a sudden, that's when Nick Bruce Adventures got trailers, which I made the trailers. But honestly, nobody reacted to it. I mean, it's a big, it's a big letdown when the first season didn't have much posters, only had four or five, and only had like a couple trailers in one TV spot, which was kind of lame because I really, I want to tell you the truth, guys. I was not really into making the first season. The first season I made for Nipper's Ventures was good. I mean, I didn't really want to like do the villains, but honestly, when I started figuring out how I wanted to do the show. I was wondering, wait, what if I come up with plot twists? Hmm, maybe I can make Nick, you know, switch up things. Well, his story of switching up things. And yes, my name's Nick, too. I just want to do this for fun. But honestly, when I was trying to figure out a plot twist, I was like, okay, let's add Nick's brother, Mick. So when that was a big plot twist in episode four, honestly, I thought I was a little disappointed in that. I mean, I didn't really like the part where Mick was, you know, talking for so long. And it was still probably boring. I know, and I know what you're thinking, guys. Why did I make the first season so boring? Well, the thing is, is that what you gotta know is that I want to build characteristics. I want Nick to build his own character. And I know that might not seem that much since, you know, the first two episodes were pretty short. And, you know, the last episodes were a little longer. But honestly, I mean, Nick Bruce Ventures was an okay season. Not bad, not too shabby. And now let's talk about the post credit scene. Why I want Aiden to show up as Nick's sidekick. Well, for starters, Aiden's going to be the second season. But the part is, is that I want him to play a big part in the second season. But that's not what it's about. Let's talk about the post credit scenes, and then we can talk a little more about Nick Grease Ventures, and then we can be done. So apparently, all I was doing was, I was just, you know, coming up with some solutions so I asked Aiden, do you want to be in it? Because, you know, he was my foster brother. And he said, yeah, let's do this. He says, yeah, Nick, let's do this. At first, though, he didn't really want to be in it. Okay, he wanted to do his own thing. But then all of a sudden, he actually agreed when he actually found, saw the first season, he wants to be in it. So I put him in there, and he did an all right job. Even though it kind of is hard to understand him, that's just building his characteristic. That's Aiden's characteristic. That's how the seasons will go. And one more thing I will say before I end this video is that where's my roadmap going? Well, all I can say, guys, and all I can confirm is that the roadmap is going to blow your minds. Because after season three releases, man, you guys don't understand how much I took time with this series. Because if... Season 3 or Season 2 does a good job. That would be great. So, that's all I got to talk about in this 8 minute, you know, you know, get up about like describing the development of Nick Burst Adventures. But yeah, so, I'll catch you guys later. And peace out. So, I'll end this video. And take care.